hi you guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be all about my 13th week of pregnancy so if you are interested in hearing what's going on with me and my baby bump just keep on watching now to be quite honest this week has been pretty tough this is probably have been my sickest week in a very long time because I have been taking the diclegic, how do you say that? I make it sound like a disorder. But I've been taking my nausea medicine for the past probably over a month now, which has been working out amazing for me. But this week, I feel like it's been doing like the bare minimum. Like my morning sickness has kicked in in a way to where it's like overriding the medicine. It's like medicine, I see you but I don't care because I haven't thrown up in a long time but this week I have thrown up twice and I really I was gonna say don't miss it but who misses throwing up like throwing up is just a terrible terrible thing and I hate doing it I even woke up a couple times early morning just to puke and I'm just like oh <laughs> please just get past this week like I don't know what's been going on I feel like the baby is definitely growing probably thriving and that's the reason why I'm probably feeling terrible I don't even feel like myself but I'm trying so hard to fight to be me but I can't because I'm still sick that's the reason why I got this robe on because nobody had the time to be trying to look cute for this video. I told y'all I was gonna be doing it, getting this video out on a Friday and it's not gonna miss me this Friday. So right now it's Thursday when I'm recording this so we are gonna make this week. I'm not gonna let morning sickness get the best of me. But let me just get more into it instead of saying that I feel terrible. One of the main reasons why I say that I've been feeling terrible is because I've been dealing with a lot of cramping I noticed I feel like work has been really tough for me this week I noticed that like the standing long periods of time by this time last year I definitely was not in work no more so I haven't really had to deal with this extent of me being at work and being pregnant because by the time that I really had issues even though I always had issues clearly but I feel like it's starting to go down that path of all right it's getting kind of tough because even when I was uh, recording the video of planting my placenta I had an episode where it like hit me like a ton of bricks and I was like I gotta throw up like I was feeling so bad and I was like I don't miss this I had to throw up in the car, car. Obviously, I had trash bags, but then we had to go because I was just losing energy. It was just a whole lot, a whole lot of, but I feel like I am definitely not lasting long at work anymore. And I'm very nervous about the length of time I'm going to be able to handle. Because lately, especially this week, I've been leaving early all week. And I don't know how much PTO time I can handle this. Hopefully next week definitely gets better into my 14th week, but week 13 has been a lot. So I was thinking about cramping. So I noticed like uh, I start to get pelvic cramps and back cramps and aches, um, which makes me nervous because of the whole cervical weakness. I feel like that was some of the things I was definitely experiencing very early on with Nala, maybe around 10 weeks. And I'm just praying that this is not the case where I'm going down a slippery slope. Um, maybe it's just I'm exhausted. But yeah, I've been experiencing like those aches and pains and and in morning sickness all in one bundle y'all just pray for me but one of the things like i said i was going to be talking about in my bump dates was then versus now so i did look back at my 13th week with baby nala and one of the things i noticed is that i feel like i had way more energy in week 13 i was definitely getting a lot better i was becoming a lot more of myself Clearly that is not the case this time. Every pregnancy is different, but I was definitely more lively and more had a lot going on. 
but also I lost a lot more weight by the time I was 13 weeks I was 168 pounds my starting weight was 186 and I dropped down to 168 and honestly I think it would have been even lower this time but because of the medication I haven't been throwing up as much as I was throwing up with her so right now I weigh myself and I am 177 pounds so I actually put on like three two or three pounds since actually being sick uh, my starting weight was 188 and right now I'm 177 so I lost 11 pounds so I actually gained three pounds since I guess last week uh, it must be the pasta meal I've been craving um, pasta with sun-dried tomatoes and that has been so good to me the last couple days so that's probably why I started to gain weight but I am 177 so I am nine pounds more than I was when I was pregnant at 13 weeks with Nala so I am definitely a lot bigger but I don't feel like I look visually when I seen the video uh, a lot bigger but definitely my stomach because I was a little bit more snatched right now mm -mm. I'm becoming a boat the one thing that I talked a lot about then was that I had a lot of constipation I have not experienced any constipation so far which I was thinking about um, like two weeks ago I'm like man I have not experienced any constipation and that was like a big problem for me before and I'm kind of happy that's not a thing because constipation at the rate that I had it then where I wasn't going for like over a week is terrible it's a terrible feeling so i'm happy about that i also talked about how i was very uncomfortable then when it came to sleep i still am surprisingly able to sleep on my stomach there are some times i wake up in the middle of the night i am actually sleeping on my stomach and i have to catch myself like Maybe I shouldn't be sleeping on my stomach. I don't know, but I haven't had any issues sleeping. I know at this point I was definitely sleeping on the couch for a couple of weeks. I am still sleeping in my bed, honey, with my husband. And it don't mean nothing because he's still not getting none. But I'm still happy that I'm still sleeping in my tempur mattress. I'm telling you, I paid for it, so I might as well sleep in it. Child, I ain't paid for that shit. I don't even know why I'm lying. But child, I don't know how much longer they're gonna last, but I'm gonna cherish it while I can because trying to find the perfect pregnancy pillow was a headache in itself. But yeah, I think that is mostly the main differences versus then and now. Now I can kind of get more into the now. I am still experiencing some of the sleep insomnia where I am waking up all kinds of times in the middle of the night. I am starting to get to the point to where I'm not feeling rested. Before when I was waking up, I was feeling like okay and rested even though I was waking up like two or three in the morning. But now I'm starting to feel like I'm oversleeping a lot or it's hard for me to wake up in the morning. So that's something new and I have to really watch that because there's been a lot of times where I had go work in late because I could not wake myself up. So I need to get a grip on that for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, outside of that, um, this week has been kind of eventful. We are still dealing with uh, planting our little other placenta plants. I guess I can't call them placenta plants because the other ones don't have placentas in it, but David has been planting the other plants in our little, I guess, garden landscape situation. So we have been dealing with that a lot. Also, we have been making it a point to read to baby and baby girl Nala. We're trying to get Nala to understand that she's gonna be a big sister, but child she don't understand none of that i can't even get the girl to hold her bottle so outside of that to be honest this week i really don't have a lot to say about changes symptoms and signs and things that's going on on that nature because it really has just been a sucky morning sickness achy pain type of week and when you're going through that type of feeling you just really don't feel like doing anything so most of the time when I had a chance I've been just chilling out sleeping napping or working that's all I've been doing this week outside of gardening of course but it's been pretty chill uh, I think most of everything on the board I have talked about 
obviously looking down here hopefully you can see I feel terrible I am honestly slightly starting to feel a little bit better but overall it just kind of sucky uh, like I said before I still have the same cravings uh, with Arizona broccoli in my new Alfredo pasta with sun-dried tomatoes of course that is the best and the biggest highlight of this week is that I am officially in the second trimester. Now, I honestly forgot that I was in the second trimester and I really didn't believe it. The only reason why I found out that I was in my second trimester because when I looked at my old video, in the title it said I was in my second trimester in 13 weeks and I was just like, that's not right, that seems really early, but when I researched it, it starts at 13 weeks, so I guess I am in the second trimester. I want to say that I'm halfway there, but really I'm not. But like I said before, I really do think time is going to really fly by because we have baby knowledge to focus on right now, so I have something to distract me until this baby comes. So, as you can see right here, baby is the size of a kiwi, so baby is getting kind of big. So, I guess since I am done explaining all that's going on with me, I can talk about what my Pregnancy Plus app says. If you guys know of any better app instead of the Pregnancy Plus app, um, let me know. Um, my Pregnancy Plus have been a ride or die for me, but they did make some changes that I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not really sure about. So if you know some good pregnancy apps, link them down below or comment them down below so I can go check those out. The only other pregnancy related apps I ever had was Ovia and I think Glow. Let's go ahead and look at my Pregnancy Plus app. So it says that your baby is now the size of a kiwi. However, even at this size, it's still difficult to determine the sex on the ultrasound, so it's still too early for that. Baby now has the ability to open and close its fist and to make sucking movements with the muscle in its mouth. Baby now has the ability to open and close its fist. All the organs of your baby's digestive system are now developing into the final shape, including stomach, liver, pancreas, and intestines. So yeah, that's pretty much that's all that's going on with baby during the 13th week. But yeah, um, actually reading it now, I really do think I want to find another app or something else to read and what's going on this week because um, I did read this in my 13th week a year ago and to read the same exact thing is kind of redundant I feel so I can do it until I find another app but at least for the readings that I do or the updates on what baby should be doing. I think I'm gonna try another app for that. But I guess that is all with the information. Now let's go ahead and check and see how my belly bump is doing. So this is definitely what belly is looking like. Let me try to relax. De definitely what belly is looking like now. You can definitely see a little bump let me go ahead and lift this up now so you can see from the side view I'm definitely more round than I was before let me scoot you back definitely more pooch than I was 13 weeks before and now let's go ahead and look at this side you can probably tell in this side more I could pass with just being big, but yeah, that is what he or she is looking like. I am starting to get a little hard right here, so that is a good sign in my line that never officially went away. It's starting to get dark again. I guess that's going to be all for this week. I'm very excited and it's really, really dawn on me each and every day and each and every symptom that goes on that I am definitely pregnant. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video if you can. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one.